In the name of God, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Twenty kilometers south on Tehran Qom Freeway and in a few minutes we'll be arriving at one of the biggest airports in the Middle East. An airport whose construction over the years has faced many challenges. It covers an area of about 13,500 hectares with a maximum capacity of handling 40 million passengers per year. A gateway to the world. In the distant past, the east-west connection route, known as the Silk Road, crossed Iran. As this route brought development and prosperity to our cities, today as well, Iran can gain great economic and social advantage by flight connections between the east and the west. Considering such special situation and the limitations of Mehrabad International Airport, in 1967, Ikao suggested the construction of a new airport in Tehran and contract to research for the location of Tehran's new international airport was made with a world-renowned PMM company. After preliminary studies, PMM company considered eight different locations for the construction of the new airport. These locations went under careful studies from various technical, economic, geological and geographical aspects and after a thorough research, the present location east of the city of Robat Karim became the prime option for construction of the new airport. The area is accessible through Tehran Qom, Tehran Salve freeways, and the old Tehran Salve road. For quick transportation of passengers, Tehran's metro lines will extend all the way to the airport. The new international airport is situated 35 kilometers southwest of Tehran. The passenger terminal, as the most important structure of every airport, has been designed by the French architect Paul Andrew who is among the most prominent architects of airports in the world. The French ADP company has been a collaborator in the design project. The passenger terminal is a symbol of an airport. International airport was constructed with unique features and glass facade. In the passenger terminal, flight information flap board and monitors display the necessary information for the passengers. In the departure zone of Terminal 64, check-in counters have been set up. Installation of a queue system enables airlines to perform check-in procedures in the shortest time. The baggage handling system automatically sorts passenger luggage in the shortest time with minimum error in respect of their flight number. Afterwards, the VRS system reconciles passenger boarding and luggage loading to each flight. Video 
cameras and closed circuit TV and the access control system control terminal security. Glass facade and bright environment are special features of the passenger terminal, adding to its beauty and diversity. The glass facade not only beautifies the thermal building, but allows passengers to look at the impressive landscape outside the terminal. This brings relaxation to the passengers and lessens their anxiety for air travel. Separate floors for arrivals and departures are among the significant architectural features of the passenger terminal. The easy flow of passengers and short walking distances from point of entering to the terminal up to boarding the planes is an important element observed in designing the building. With the installation of boarding bridges, passengers can directly embark to the planes and it is easier to maintain flight security. Seven access gates and 14 boarding bridges have been set up in the terminal. After leaving the aircraft and passing through boarding bridges, arriving passengers walk to the central part of terminal which is decorated by fine Iranian architecture. The arrival and departure part of the terminal have been designed in two different floors in Imam Khomeini International Airport. Multi-level parking lot covering an area of 42,000 square meters is a concrete structure that accommodates 1,400 automobiles. Next to the terminal stands the mechanical plant with an area of 4,200 square meters. In the first phase of airport's operation, the mechanical plant is equipped with four steam boilers, each with a capacity of 16 tons of steam per hour, and four absorption chillers, each with a capacity of 1,300 tons of refrigeration. Air traffic control tower with an area of 1,100 square meters is a concrete 12-story structure with a height of 57 meters. The technical support building with 6,800 square meters area and glass facade is a four-story structure. Total access routes in the airport area is 80 kilometers and access to all airport buildings is achieved through these routes. DME, DVOR and ILS ground navigation auxiliary equipment are employed for better control of flight. A complete auxiliary navigation system with flight clarity has been set. This system is classified as CAT2 in terms of international standards and helps landing and takeoff in bad and unfavorable weather conditions. In the airfield areas, over 460,000 square meters of concrete aprons and 13,900 meters of parallel and cross taxiways have been constructed. The runaway is 4,200 long and 60 meters wide with asphalt concrete surface. The start and finish of the runaway has cement concrete surface with a length of 450 meters. Two fire stations are situated on the airfield. The central fire station, in addition to airfield area, is also equipped to extinguish fire in battle buildings. 
aeroplane fuel is transported through a 35 km long pipeline from ray storage to fuel reservoirs in the airport and after secondary refinement reaches the airplane's stands through stainless steel pipelines. Fiber optic cables and microwave system from the airport communication system. The fiber optic cable is installed with a capacity of 2,000 lines and microwave connection by 400 lines from Mehrabad Airport. The airport water is supplied by wells dug within the airport area, which after reservation and necessary treatment reaches consumption points through separate pipelines to be used for drinking, extinguishing fire and irrigation of green areas. To improve the quality of drinking water, several tests are performed in the airport water treatment plant. The airport electricity is supplied by two feeders in a reverse method, converting electricity from a 230 kV to 20 kV. The airport's needed 20 kV electricity is transferred through four air feeders to the main distribution substation and from their ground cables distributed. A part of the infrastructural utilities, such as the portable water pipelines, fire stations water, communications and electricity cables pass through a utility tunnel with a length of 2,850 meters, width of 4 meters and height of 3.5 meters and reach various airport consumption points. The airport natural gas is supplied by Tehran's main 30-inch gas line and with the construction of the gas reducing station transfer to consumption point. Supporting buildings are the airport's other sections including gas station, CAO service buildings, police station, security guard, Sepah army office, administrative and meteorological buildings. The supporting buildings constructed in the airport domain cover an area of about 40,000 square meters. Airport sewage water is disposed of through the sewage system and directed to the treatment plant. After treatment, the wastewater is used for irrigation of green spaces. Tricling irrigation system for the green areas is among the airport's other important utilities. Green areas in the airports are of utmost importance. Soil stabilization, prevention of land erosion by seasonal winds and cleaning the air from suspended particles are among the most important missions of the green areas that lead to the safety of the flights. The great volume of activities taking place in the first phase of construction are as follows. 33 million cubic meters of earthwork 850,000 cubic meters of cement concrete, 33,000 tons of steel bar, 6,200 tons of structural steel, 1,600,000 tons of asphalt concrete, 150 kilometers of piping, and 650 kilometers of cabling. Designing airports with such high capacities at the beginning of the 21st century is the answer to the increasing number of passengers traveling by air a number that has reached about a billion per year over the world. It was on this basis that the building of Imam Khomeini International Airport became a top priority in the development of air transportation system and its construction was emphasized as a national project. in public relations of IKEA project.